Well, I, I have a real concern for the people who have not been reached by the Green Revolution. And I'm particularly, I now live in Indonesia three quarters of the time. One quarter of the time in, in Fort Collins, Colorado, where I'm affiliated uh, as an adjunct professor with uh, Colorado State. And I just have a problem because my newly found clients are farmers in the uplands of Indonesia. I have a, an ongoing research and development activity with with uh, farmers in the uplands. and. Uh, They've been basically uh, left behind by their own government in terms of extension services and, uh, and uh, infrastructure and so forth. And um, this is a, an area that, uh, you know, it's, it's like they have been left behind. In the same way they have been un, unable to receive the benefits of $30 billion of irrigation investment in 30 years. And, and this is a forgotten part of the population and I, that I've taken it on as a client group for my Indonesian Aid Foundation. And uh, I come to, back to the States, to Colorado to raise money, write proposals, and I uh, spend most of my time uh, working on these R&D things like my intensive rice garden right now for the Upland Farm families. Well, I was affiliated with three different ministries at, in, in three different jobs as a consultant and three different ministries, three different jobs as a consultant team leader of World Bank uh, and uh, Asian Development Bank teams before retiring. But since retiring, I had already purchased a house, a huge house, and I had added to it and developed a, 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 an outreach activity called the, well, it's the Indonesia Aid Foundation. And I am sort of the chief technical officer of that and uh, working on projects that uh, fill in some of these gaps that I feel that uh, were really not part of uh, the terms of reference for, uh, for Erie.